Hello Sibelius users of YouTube. My name is John Turman coming back at you with another Sibelius 7 tutorial. Today's tutorial is a follow-up to my most recent Baroque guitar notation video, quote-unquote modern Baroque guitar notation. In this video we are going to go in depth on how to recreate actual parts that were originally composed for Baroque guitar. So we're going to talk about Italian tablature, uh, we are going to talk about French tablature, uh, and we are going to talk about alphabeto notation. And this is all just from the Baroque era, and this is all um, idiomatic for that time period. So what I did in my previous video was what I like to do so that I can read, you know, knowing what I have from my own learning of modern guitar, and I applied that to learning Baroque guitar. And so this is for the notation purists out there who want to pretend that they live in the Baroque era and compose music for the guitar. So let's get started. We're going to start by talking about Italian notation. So we're going to start with a blank document here. We're going to change instruments and from my previous video you may remember that we went to vihuela. So we're going to do vihuela tab just because it has uh, five lines and that's very similar to the Baroque guitar. So this looks all well and good. We're going to go down and just kind of uh, modify this. Just say Italian notation Baroque guitar. And we're going to create. And so let's go ahead and full screen this in the slowest way I know how. And from here, we are going to use our knowledge of the Baroque guitar to remember that in Italian tablature, the top, the fifth chorus, so the lowest string, quote unquote, on your guitar is going to be this top line here. So, with our keypad enabled, we are going to uh, select a quarter note just so we can start inputting using our arrow keys on the keyboard. So, the lowest note on the Baroque guitar, quote unquote, is this fifth chorus, which is an A. And of course that will not sound correct when you're using vihuela. And while we're at it, why don't we change this instrument name to Baroque Guitar. Let's add some measures by pressing Command B a couple times so we get another line. And then we can also adjust this abbreviation to BG. Okay, great. And so now we have our, uh, our tab up here. So in order to uh, fully uh, realize a tab. Let's just go ahead and input some more lines. So remember this line down here is going to be your highest string, your E string. So we're just going to ignore what we hear from the uh, the input in the uh, automatic instrument, uh, you know, the sounds uh, that Sibelius chooses to make for vihuela. And now that we have our notes input, all we need is the rhythm. So in Baroque, Italian Baroque notation, you will see often uh, just a single note value above the music. So for that, we are going to go to the uh, Notations tab, and we're going to go to Symbols. And in the drop-down menu, we are going to go all the way down to Notes, uh, which is quite a ways down, but, you know, we'll scroll there. And once you use them more and more, they'll be easier to use and they'll come up into your favorites. So we're going to select quarter note up, and we're just going to put it above this note. And so in Italian notation, when you see one note value and then a bunch of succeeding notes, that just means that all of those notes are equal value, and they stay equal value until the note up top changes. So if we needed to change that, we would also have to change the value of the note in the tab. So I'm going to go over to my keypad and make this uh, an eighth note. So we have a four here, and then let's put a two. And so for that, we're going to go back to our symbols drop down menu and scroll all the way down to notes. Do do do. And we are going to select the eighth note stem up and put it above this four. And we're going to position that with our arrow keys and make sure it's nice and even with our other uh, note head above the staff. And if you're having issues with this, try toggling magnetic layout on and off in uh, the layout tab. 
And so for here, so this would normally mean that we would play all these notes eighth notes, but we want to go back to quarter notes. So we are going to put a quarter note above that three. And now we have our quarter note up in our used. And so then we're just gonna simply use our arrow keys on the keyboard to line it up nice and neat right there. And that's a very simple way to construct a Baroque guitar Italian notation. Just remember that the notes up here are on the lowest course, the, uh, you know, the low A string. And then the second course, and this is the highest course, and that's for Italian tablature. And so that's why in my previous video, I did it backwards. So, you know, you read it like you would normally read it. And so let's go ahead and move to... Uh, Let's go to go ahead and go to French notation. And right now, I'm just going to go ahead and change this to French notation for a guitar. And we're going to keep this all the same. You will never see this in the same document, so we're going to go ahead and delete everything. Oh, no! But the document setup will remain the same. And so in French tablature, you will see an italicized letter, an alphabetic character, inside the staff or inside the tab and you will see it corresponding to the low versus high strings on the guitar so this space here where my mouse is will be the bottom a string on the baroque guitar the fifth course if you will and so in order to do this this is a little bit time consuming and that's why uh, in my other video i just go with a very simple tab or note input uh, so we're going to go to our text tab and we are simply going to select um, just a regular plain text from the styles drop down menu and we're just going to place it arbitrarily in the middle here so we are going to just start with an A and we are going to select it by command all and we are going to change it to italic and then from here we are going to move it so it's perfectly in the space uh, to correspond to our strings. And so, of course, you're wondering, where is the high string? The high string is simply on top of the staff right here. And I'll go into that a little more detail in a second. And so you can see that the size is 11.9, and that looks perfect for what we need. And so let's go ahead and add a couple more characters here. So I'm just going to simply uh, Command-C and Command-V, and I'm just going to click and drag. I'm going to drag wherever I want, and so we're going to... Uh, select it and then B and so A just means an open string a B means you put your finger on the first fret C second fret D third fret etc etc and through this we will uh, we'll have a beautiful piece of music using these little letters in French tablature so now this is where you would notate the highest string the highest course we're going to go ahead and go C, boom, or D. We're going to go D. There we go. And so now that looks great, but let's input some rhythm, or let's stretch it out a little bit and add a couple more notes. So let's uh, doing just Command C, Command V, copy and pasting, and then using my arrow keys to get it perfectly lined up. We're just going to make that nice and neat. And from here, uh, in French notation, you will generally see uh, rhythm notated as um, flags on top as opposed to note heads as in the uh, Italian notation. And so you will actually see flags. And what I mean by this is go to the notations tab and let's go to symbols. And so we're going to scroll down to notes and you're gonna, you'll, I'll be able to explain it a little better now. So in French notation, a dash up above the note or above the tab will indicate a whole note and then an eighth flag up will mean a half note a sixteenth flag or two flags will mean a quarter note a thirty-second flag or three flags will mean an eighth note and so on and so forth so uh, let's just go ahead and notate this how we want just regular style nothing too fancy but I'll show you where to find that straight up and down um, line to dictate a whole note in this notation. So I'm just going in and selecting the note that I wish to put the uh, rhythm symbol above and then selecting the corresponding symbol in um, in this drop down menu and just going for it. <laughs> and you can use your arrow keys or you can use your mouse to position 
and just make it look as neat as you want it. And there we go. And then back to quarter note. So. And like Italian tablature, this is a little bit superfluous, so we're just going to delete it because when you see a rhythmic notation above, it remains the same rhythmic value until the next change, which would be this as a quarter note. And so where to find that? Okay, let's go ahead and do another example. We're just going to copy and paste uh, that D and put it right here. And we're going to position it right there on top of the tab. And then we're going to go um, find our vertical line. And we're going to use this actually to discuss alphabetical notation in a moment. But we are going to simply click it and then it'll just appear. So we're going to position it right above that D and that will mean a whole note. And so that's all you need to know about French notation for the Baroque guitar. Now let's change things up and do alphabeto notation. So we're going to start a new document choosing blank and we're going to choose instruments. And in this we are actually going to choose a percussion instrument. We just need a percussion with one percussion instrument with one line. If you study Baroque guitar, you will know that these capital letters that I will be inputting into the staff will correspond to a list of chords that go with each letter. And that doesn't necessarily mean A does not necessarily mean an A major chord. It means something totally different. It means a, a G major chord and uh, so on and so forth. Just uh, You just got to study it to know it. And so we are going to just make a title here real quick, just alphabeto notation, Baroque guitar, create. And we're going to change a couple things right, uh, right from the get-go. Of course, I'm going to make this as big as possible, as slowly as I know how. Boom. And so, of course, we are going to add some bars, command B, 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 B to get two lines. And we're going to change this name to Baroque guitar. And then we're going to change this other line, the abbreviated version, to BG. And so here we have our setup. We don't really need this clef, so I'm going to go ahead and use the shortcut Q and use a blank clef and then delete the uh, excess. And so we have all of these rests. And so what we're going to do, we're actually going to delete them or, you know, you could just hide them. I like just going through and pressing delete. So we're just going to do that for the first couple bars. And now when you see this alphabeto notation and it's, uh, it's usually about strumming and so uh, there will be stems, just blank stems dropping from the bar line to indicate a downstroke or an upstroke. And so to find those, we're going to go to the no notations tab, we're going to go to symbols and we are going to go down, oh, just a little bit, to vertical line. And then we're just going to place it very close to our bar line. And then we're going to adjust it with our arrow keys on our keyboard in, uh, just so that it will appear um, like to be touching the bar line. And since it's going down from the bar line, that means a downstroke. So we're going to control copy and control paste. And then we're going to move this other line with our arrow keys as well. And so uh, rhythmic notation in this uh, is pretty simple. If you see three, it means three. If you see two, it means two half notes. It's just, uh, just for the sake of clarity, we're going to do two and we'll pretend that those are half notes. And so now it's very simple. We just need to go to text and we need to make some more plain, simple text. And we're going to do A, capital A, and then we're going to move it down to the bar line. We're going to make it a little bit bigger too, because we are not shy about our alphabeto notation. And then we're going to move, I like to move it down just slightly because um, in just if you use the arrow keys to move it, you might change the size um, if you don't deselect first. So I like to have them about, uh, you know, like almost in line with the time signature, just like the bottom lines up with the time signature. I think that looks nice and neat. And so this would mean you would play, uh, you'd play a G major chord for two half notes. You may see this notation with or without rhythm notated above like we did in Italian notation. And so when you see that, you will see it above the chord or above this dash. 
And so, for instance, let's go ahead and create a quick, uh, just a quick example. So we're going to go back to the Notations tab and scroll down to our note heads, or our notes, um, all the way down here, yada, yada, yada. And we're going to do quarter note up, or, you know, since we said half note to begin, we are just going to make four quarter notes now. And so these are just two downstrokes that I have here. I'm going to copy and paste, Command C, Command V, and then I'm going to move it up. And I'm just going to make it pretty and equidistant like that, so that you go, you know, down, up, down. And let's make another one. And just trying to make these equal as possible and as pretty as possible uh, will help you tremendously. And so this just means uh, you play a G chord, you go down, up, down, up in one measure. And you can use this for uh, all of the different chords in the alphabeto notation key. This way of notating rhythm is quite common in Italian tablature, and you will see it done this way nine times out of ten. Now, if you want to notate uh, chords in French tablature or French tablature notation, you are actually going to do something completely different than this. You So let's go back to our French notation um, project. And so here we have our notation, we have our rhythm notated, and we have our tabs open. Now something that I didn't say earlier was that although this is a very common way to see rhythm notated in French tablature, you will sometimes see fully realized note, note beams uh, with values, and you might also see them in the staff. And here's what that looks like. Let's go ahead and make a chord in this bar right here. So we're going to do D, we're going to copy and paste, and we're just going to move it down. And remember these, uh, so see how this is kind of not, they're not playing nice together. We're going to go to layout and turn magnetic layout off. We're going to toggle it off, and I kind of messed up all this stuff over here, but you get the idea. So we're going to put these together and copy and paste. Or copy, paste, and then we're going to move it over. Oh yeah, I guess I just did another one there. And we're going to, so this wouldn't really sound that great, but for the sake of an example, we're just playing around here. And so you will see a mixed style of notation <coughs> when chords are involved in French tablature. So you will see a note head just hanging out in the middle of the bar right next to the tabs. You'll see it uh, kind of on the uh, where an A would be in a treble clef staff, just kind of in the middle of the tab. Um, and depending on the stroke, up versus down, you will see the note corresponding. So the stem will be up or the stem will be down to indicate that it's a downstroke or an upstroke. So here we go, I'm scrolling all the way down, boom, boom, boom. We are going to go with a down stroke. We're going to do that. We're going to just put it kind of around, you know, it's kind of central. It doesn't really matter exactly because that gets the point across. So that means that you will have a bar across the third fret um, on the top strings and you will strum that in, the, uh, in a quarter note length. And then after that, you might just see, you know, we're just going to we get the picture. Um, you might see more notation through the end of the bar, but instead of having an up or down stem with this, so it's a quarter note, so we're going to um, do something similar to our French, or our Italian counterparts in Baroque guitar tabs, and we are going to use, uh, here we go, here we go, where is the body? Here it is. So half note up, and that will say you know, that's just where you'd pluck it. And then we're going to do another quarter note up just to make it nice and perfect for the end of the tutorial. And you will just use your arrow keys or your mouse to relocate it to the spot that you want. And that is a solid measure. And that's how you will see this notation mixed with uh, like chord notation in French tablature versus single note rhythmic notation in the same bar. Hope this has been very helpful for all of you purists for Baroque guitar notation out there. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and I will catch you next time. Until then, happy composing!